So now it's time to look at IAM core components. And we have these things called IAM identities. And those are going to be users, groups, and roles. So let's go through those. So a user is an end user who can log into the console or interact with AWS resources pragmatically. Then you have groups. And that is when you take a bunch of users and you uh, put them into a logical grouping. So they have shared permissions. That could be administrators, developers, auditors, whatever you want to call that. Then you have roles. And roles uh, have policies associated with them. That's what holds the permissions. And then you can take a role and assign it to uh, users or groups. And then uh, down below you have policies, and this is a JSON document which defines uh, the rules in which permissions are allowed. Um, and so those are the core components, but we'll get more in detail to all these things uh, next. So now that we know what the core components are, let's talk about how we can mix and match them. Starting at the top here, we have a bunch of users in a user group. And if we want to en masse apply permissions, all we have to do is create a role with the policies attached to that role. And then once we attach that role to that group, all these users have that same permission. Great for administrators, uh, um, auditors, or developers. And this is generally the way you want to use IAM when assigning um, uh, uh, roles to users. You can also assign a role directly to a user. Um, and then there's also a way of assigning a policy, which is called inline policy, directly to a user. Okay, so why would you do this? Well, maybe you have exactly one action you want to attach to this user and you want to do it for a temporary uh, amount of time. You don't want to, have to create a managed role because it's never, it's never going to be reused for anybody else. There are use cases for that, but generally you always want to stick with the top level here. A role can have multiple policies attached to it, okay? And also, a role can be attached to certain AWS resources. All right. Now, there are cases where resources actually have uh, inline uh, policies directly attached to them, but there are cases where uh, you have um, roles attached to or somehow associated to resources. All right. But generally, this is the uh, mix and match of it. If you were taking the uh, AWS security certification, then this stuff in detail really matters. Uh, but for the associate and the pro level, you just need to conceptually know what you can and cannot do. All right.